Hey YouTube, today is, <laughs> what is today? I just looked at my phone. Today is December 6th, it's a, I'm not gonna lie, I'll put it below. I know it's Sunday. I'm going to do my concoction for my foundation primer, the foundation of the beauty oil, and I'm just gonna speed through that so we can get on to what this video is about. Okay, so that was the concoction with the primer, foundation, beauty oil, and then I used um, the Sephora Bright Gel. I should know what this is called. I've been using this for years. Uh, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and the Fenty Matchstick and Bordeaux Brat as blush, which I love that color as a blush for me. And I was looking around for powder because I didn't have anything set out, of course, because I am just so hella organized, right? So I used the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder to set underneath my eyes. I'm not going to put anything anywhere else on my face. That foundation does dry down fairly quickly for me. Um, there are times I still use powder and then there's other times I'm just like, mm, okay, whatever. I'm thinking I should though because I'm going to try out new, excuse me, eyeshadows today. I'm going to try two of the e.l.f eyeshadows i showed them in a previous video this one here is truffles this one here sorry for the glare is carnival candy and i did show in the other video so i'm not going to go into it this one came cracked in the corner and did you see that black just fall from over here like all of this darkness and this gray is black from this shadow and every time i open it <sighs> And I'm sure you can't see it, but there's like black lines across here because it just travels across when I open it. And there's like clumps of black shadow on the cloth I have here. And it is just beyond annoying. And I really feel like I'm going to end up throwing it away or just go to the store and purchase one and then return this one. I don't know, but it's only $3. So I'm just like, <laughs> like, is it even worth the hassle of going back and forth? Anyway, I am also going to try for the first time. Thanks to Robert Walsh. I'm sorry, Robert Welsh. And I said Walsh in the previous video. It's Welsh. He really likes the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I've never used it. I'm going to try it today. I'm going to just... I don't know. If, I don't remember if he uses it with his finger or with a brush. This is very um, unsanitary. Um, but that's not what I was going to say. It's, it's, it was very hard for me to get some out and I don't know if it's because it's new and this is my first time even touching it and I don't like dragging across my lid like this either because <laughs> you see I have like all of this up here I don't need it to be any loose or any more loose is probably grammatically correct I don't need it to be any more loose than it is I need to watch his video again and see if he does his primer with his finger or not because I'm not liking using my finger i don't like using finger for eyeshadow i don't like to wet my brush if you guys have watched some of my makeup videos i am just lazy i want to just put my brush in it and put it on my lid and it works that's me very simple person i just want stuff to work i'm going to do one eye using <laughs> this is not i'm going to use one eye not use i'm going to do one eye with one palette and the other, other eye with the other, which should be simple because each one only has four colors. And so I'm confident I can... Oh gosh, next time I use this primer, I'm going to use it with a brush. It's not as tacky as the Fenty primer, but it is tacky though. And I can feel it sticking to my finger, trying to get it across my lid. And so I'm wondering, for me... Because um, I believe his skin is oily. My skin is dry. So I'm wondering for me if this is going to be a problem. Trying to spread shadow over this primer. And it feels more sticky than tacky. Is there even a difference be between sticky and tacky? 
I have no brushes out or anything. I am not organized at all right now. So I'm going to pull out brushes and just speed this part up or just cut it out. Okay, we're going to start with the least messy palette. Well, this one's not messy at all because nothing in here is cracked. This one is Carnival Candy. Very cute. I am drawn to the blue. Will it match my shirt? I have a Zoom call in about an hour. So I'm like, you know what? Let me do a video. I haven't been in front of the camera since my previous one, which was, I actually filmed that in November. On November 24th, today, I said the date earlier, I put it below somewhere. It's a Sunday and, and it's December. So I'm going to start with <laughs> this shade here with the crease brush. And I was going to look at the mirror, but there is none. So I'm actually just going to use what I'm filming off of as a mirror, even though there is a mirror here. And I do have a handheld mirror. But for me, it's just too much to have to put this down, pick up a mirror, blah, 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 blah. Um, so if things are looking crazy, it may or may not be because I'm having trouble seeing. <laughs> so that, as I expected is almost a non-color on me, which is good just to lay down, I guess to more or less set um, my transition area for the next shade, because as I said, I was concerned with how they were going to lay down on top of this part. I'm going to go in with this one, it's brown, and I'm going to put that right over top of that first color. There is some kick up in the pan, but it may be because of how I'm dipping the brush in it. I'm not particularly gentle with shadows. I don't know why I'm like leaning this way. Maybe I just move my mirror. Like I am just so, <laughs> like I'll inconvenience myself or make things harder for me versus just doing something a little more simple, such as move the mirror instead of like leaning over to see in the mirror. I do like this shade. I don't know if this is the true color or if it looks that way because I put it over top of this one. Let me get this glare off of here. So this is this color. I think it's, I think it's true to pan, but again, is it because I put it over the other one or is this really the color? And I do feel like this is really the color. How do you feel like something's a color? <laughs> I'm going to take this pretty high up because I have all this space here. I'm going to just blend. I'm going to take a different brush and go back with that first shade and use that as a brow bone highlight. So I'm going to put that right here. I should have did my brows first, right? I'm going to take, hmm, I want to take that blue, of course, but do I want that for that? Um, I'm going to put that all across the lid. Hopefully it doesn't end up looking crazy, this look. Where are the other one, since I'm going to be on the Zoom call. So, oh, did that just fall out on my face? Um, hmm. I do have these colors and other palettes but for this price and if they work it would be great just to travel with however they are fragile so I don't know if I would even do that hmm I'm not sure I like the color though, but it's blending into like a greenish and maybe because of how it's mixing with that brown in my crease, I'm not sure. I do like how it feels though. Like it doesn't feel chunky. It's not feeling dry. It's not dragging on the primer. And for three dollars, like what? What do you expect? I, uh, I'm trying to decide if I like it. I'm going to take a smaller brush and try to pack some more of that blue on in my inner corner because for some reason I'm not liking 
how this area right here is looking to me it's looking a little patchy so right now I'm just trying to smooth that out and as I'm doing that I am I am going to also try to smooth that out up here as well to keep that blue as saturated as it is on my lid I want to take that blue up a little bit higher because I do have slightly hooded eyes and so I do need to take my lid color up into the crease and slightly above the crease if I want it to be seen when my eye is open. And so that's one of the challenges of having slightly hooded eyes. And I know it could be worse, um, so I'm not complaining. You just have to find what techniques works for you to get the color to show up <laughs> where you want it to. And so it does take work. It does take time to find what works for you. And this is something that works for me is to take my lid color higher up. And so I am liking this. This is real time, as you can tell. I'm not speeding anything up because seeing it in real time. See, now my eye is completely open completely open not like wide open but I'm looking straight at you and you can see that blue a little bit up here so that's what I was going for just for that color to show up up here and now I don't know what to do with that red color I could put it underneath my lower lash line I guess I guess I guess so I'm gonna take this red that's gonna look kind of weird probably do we care apparently not If there's glitches going on, it's because I'm having emails and texts, I'm sorry, emails and Twitter notifications and Facebook notifications are popping up across my screen. So if there's glitches, that's what that is about. I do like that. I do. Before I go any further, I'm not going to do my brows right now. And I was going to say before I go any further, I'll do my brows, but that's going to take up some time. Or I could just speed up that part, right? Yeah. Let's do my brows and speed that part up. All right, now we're gonna move on to, do I wanna do my liner? I'll do the liner and everything last. I'm gonna move into this messy, broke, very ill packaged <laughs> truffles palette. And it's, every time I open it, it's like all over my fingers, it falls out. I am just so irritated and annoyed this black is from just opening this palette. I am just so annoyed every time I pick this up. So even if it works well, I'm like, am I even going to want to keep using it? And the answer already is no. We're going to go in with this tan shade. We're going to use that in this area. <laughs> with the Fenty primer, I find that I need to pat on the color because it is like really, really sticky. I have to pat it on or stipple it on and then I go back and blend it. And so that was my hesitation because I realized I just went in and started doing this with it and it went on really smooth. If this ends up being like a go-to primer for me, you know how much money I'll save by not buying a fancy primer? Even though I have like two backups from, you know, the cells and things like that, but thank you, Robert Welsh. And I know you'll never see this because I am such a small channel and yours is so much larger than mine. <laughs> but thank you if you do ever happen to see this. I do, I am liking these e.l.f. minis. What are they called? Bite size. They have a short, they have a year lifespan once you open it. I was going to say a short one, but a year is not bad. Some shadows, the Fenty Moroccan palette is 90. The Fenty Moroccan palette has a nine month lifespan. The Natasha Denona, I believe is two years. And 
I just see like black on my finger. This is just so annoying to me. The Invisiart has a three year lifespan, which is awesome because if you find a palette that you like, I'm going to go in with this dark one here. If you find a palette you really like, three years is a long time to have it. And for some people, they, they might only have one or two palettes. And so they may use it up quicker. But for me, even though my collection is still small, actually tiny compared to what I see on YouTube, it would still last me like that entire three years. I dip back into that dark shade. I'm, I don't know if I'm liking how this is blending out. It feels really smooth going on though. Oh my gosh, like I like how these feel. And this is from a De Natasha Denona lover. Like I love her cream to matte formula or creamy matte formula, whatever she calls them. I love them. In between doing this and doing this, I'm wiping the brush off on the cloth down here because I don't want to add additional color. I'm just trying to blend out the color that is currently there. And I'm realizing this palette does not have a brow bone highlight color, which is okay if I can get this to blend out the way I want to. Or I'm going to go into the Carnival Candy. Sorry for that glare. Carnival Candy. And I'm going to go into this lightest shade over here and use that as the brow bone highlight and to also further blend the inner portion of this color here. So I do think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks better. Or does it? Ah! So back to this palette. I am just so annoyed. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade and it has black specks in it. So it's like, is this really the color of this? I'm just gonna pack that on the lid. You know, and I was gonna put the black on my lid to do a smoky look, and then I don't know what happened with my brain. I was like, let me just grab this color. You know why? Because I'm so freaking annoyed with that black, how it's cracked. They didn't wrap it in bubble wrap, nothing. They just had it in the box, just like, that. I'm just like, who does that? Apparently people do. I think this is a nice look. I'm going back with that crease brush, just to blend out that silver shade into the crease a little bit. I like that. The black, oh gosh, I'm, I'm just so annoyed at that color. I'm gonna take a thin pencil brush and I'm gonna use this black. Do I wanna use that for my lash line? Yeah, let's try that. Do I have a, a thinner brush? We're gonna use this brush. I'm gonna take it under, well, I'm gonna use it for eyeliner first on, on top and then depending on what it does, I will take it underneath my lower lash line as well. I was gonna use a liquid liner, but this is just like, oh, a mess. Even though it looks like it has sparkles in it, I'm hoping it's not the type that will fall out over time because if this gets in my eyes, this is not gonna be good. I like how that looks though. A lot of kick up in the pan. This Zoom call, they're going to be looking at me like she has two different eye looks. And I know nobody's going to say anything, so I'm going to say it because I know it's noticeable. <laughs> I'm going to be like, yes, I have two different eye looks because I just did a video. Because when I do my makeup for videos, well, for Zoom calls, numerous people are like, oh, your, your makeup is so pretty today. So I know they notice, <laughs> but I know no one would say, well, I don't think anyone would say, uh, Dion, do you know that your eyes look two different ways? I like this, and I'm going to use this also for liner over here. Hopefully it'll show up over that dark blue, and it is. Well, I, I can see that it is. I'm just so annoyed that it's cracked. Another email is coming through. And I don't know if it's worth the hassle to try and get another one because it was only $3. Like, is it even worth the aggravation? 
and they don't they never have it in the store so i can't even say you know just go in the store and exchange it and you know what i put a color underneath already i'm gonna put this i'm gonna try and get it closer like right under my lashes and not cover up that red because i do like how that red looks under there that reddish brown i like this i like this okay so the only thing i need to do now and i am starting to sweat what do i need to do now do i want to do mascara what the heck since we're here I really like both of these palettes. So maybe I'll go on the e.l.f. site and order <laughs> the truffle one. I like both of these looks. What am I going to do for lips? I didn't even put on chapstick when I started this video. And I'm like, my lips are dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put on a lip oil. And since I have all this going on, I'm going to just use a clear one. This is from the Sephora Clean Collection Lip Oil. I cannot stand the applicator. It's like hard plastic. <laughs> There's like no give. Even doing this, it just drags, so I have to go sideways. <laughs> but it feels really good. All right, so this is the look. So this eye is truffles. Is it? Yeah. You know, I'm them. I questioned it because this has that black, but yet this eye is the darker look. So that's why I was like, is this the dark one? So yeah, so this is Truffle <laughs> using the black as an eyeliner. And this one is Carnival Candy featuring the blue. I love how I look in blue eyeshadow. I do. I like both of these looks and it's surprising to me or ironic to me that the one with the black in it, I did a neutral look. <laughs> And these are small enough where if you did carry them with you, you could just pair them together and mix and match the colors. Um, but yeah, so I'm liking it. And I really like the e.l.f. Putty Primer with these shadows. And I'm going to use this with my other eyeshadows as well to see how that works. And so I'm really excited. If this becomes my go-to primer, I'm going to be saving a lot of money. Because Fenty Primer is like 20 something dollars, I think. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have either one of these palettes, if you use the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer, let me know how you like these products. Let me know how you like these looks. Feel free to post, you know, links to your videos of looks that you've done with either one of these palettes. And just leave your thoughts and everything below. And you will see me in the next video. And thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. It's all free and it helps me out. And so thank you for being here and you'll see me in the next one. So it's been about 15 minutes and this eye is itching very, very badly. This one is itching just a little bit. So I don't know if it's the shadow or if it's the primer. So I'm gonna try the primer with another eyeshadow palette that I have, because the ones that I have, my staples, I don't have any issues with any of those shadows. So I'm gonna try the primer with those shadows and see if my eyes are itchy and irritated. And this one is already starting to water because it's so irritated. And it may be because I did this eye first, I don't know. And so I'm gonna see. And if it's not the primer, then I'll just try one palette, <laughs> see how my eyes feel, and then try the other palette and see how it feels. But this, no bueno. I am looking online. I saw that they have these available for, available even for pickup at my local Walmart. And so I may get another of the truffle. But first I need to see what is it that's irritating my eyes. I didn't put anything on my waterline, so I know it's not that. And everything else I used um the mascara that's the one i always use and so it's either the primer or the shadows and so i will keep you posted if i remember to i'll make a note somewhere to, to say something um 
and I really like both of these looks. I really do. Which is why I was online looking to see where else can I get them and pick them up other than Target because Target doesn't ever have them in store. Whereas Walmart, it says you can pick up, which means they're in the store. But I need to figure this out first before I purchase them. Um, so that's it. Thank you for being here. And again, you'll see me in the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something really quick. I've had this makeup on probably about four or five hours and I noticed something. Excuse right here because I have my glasses on. So if you see marks right here, that's for my glasses. And also I did blow my nose and so that removed the makeup under here. And so that's why this is red. What I noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, was that this eyeshadow is creasing. I don't know if it's the shadow or if it's the primer. Initially, I thought maybe it's just something with blue. The only other blue shadow I have, well, that's a, this actual shade of blue, is in my Viseart, which palette is this? Natural Matte's Milieu palette. This blue, yes, this one is deeper, and it's looking purple on camera, but it's not, I promise you, it's blue. And when I put it on, it looks a little bit darker than this one this blue creases on me as well no other shadow that i have in my collection creases except this blue so then i thought okay maybe it's just something with blues and then i looked on this eye this eye is creasing also so i'm like okay maybe it's the palettes or maybe it's the elf putty primer my eyes finally did stop itching and I'm thinking it's the shadow because also I noticed, and I know you guys can not see it because I don't have like the zoom and all of that fancy equipment, but there is so much fallout under here. And I do believe, oh, I just stuck my finger in it. And I do believe that it's from this shade here. There is all sorts of just silver specks in this entire area. And so I'm thinking the eyeshadow was falling out and into my eyes. And now look at this. That's just from handling this palette. Remember I was saying how that black is cracked and it just continues to go everywhere. But that silver shade is like covering this entire area. And this side when I look in the mirror is darker under here. And so then I'm wondering if that blue was falling out. And if so, maybe my eyes were itching because the shadows were falling out <laughs> versus it being the primer. And I also noticed using this black here as a liner, I used it here and it was fine, but I connected it from the upper lash line to the lower lash line. This did not look like this earlier. So this just, it's smudged like this whole area is just doing its own thing so i i i don't i don't even know what to say i do as i said when i did this look i liked how they went on and so if you are on a budget where you're just starting out in makeup and you don't want to pay a lot of money these are three dollars and they went on smoothly. I mean, I did have the fallout and it irritated my eyes and, you know. But for $3, you know, just get all of the different ones and these and you will have like a multitude of colors and you can do a bunch of different looks with them versus like a Viseart, which are hella expensive and Natasha Denona I have, which is expensive. But I do recommend these little e.l.f. bite-sized palettes. I really do. And... You know, if you have creasing or if you have fallout, just do your eye makeup first. If you're able to get um, e.l.f. in store at Target or Walmart, do that. Do not order from Target online because they do not package them. They just put them in a the box just like this. And that's how that black cracked, which I said probably 10 times already. Or also, I just found out that they have these in my local Walmart. And so you can just pick these up while you're out shopping somewhere. Or from the e.l.f. website. I mean, there are plenty of places you can buy these. I do recommend them. So I just wanted to do this really quick um, because I did this look earlier and I was getting ready to wash it off and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm just like, okay, I have fallout, I got smudges, I got creasing. 
I was like, let me just come back and just say something really quick. So I will probably tack this on to the initial video. And if so, you'll see it there. Otherwise, it'll be a month before it's uploaded. <laughs> I know, I'm out of control. So anyway, thank you. And let me know your experiences with the elf bite size. Did you have problems with them creasing? Did you have problems with fallout? Do you even care? And also, it might be the primer that's making it crease. I don't know. I am going to definitely try the primer, as I, as I said earlier, with other eyeshadows. Um, just to see. And so, that's where I'm at with e.l.f.